Well, right now, I say it's on tour. You might think this Granite Hills man has lost his gourd. I love showing it off. He's driving around El Cajon with a gigantic pumpkin. I'm getting people smiling. John Burndies figures it's only proper. Oh my God. Isn't that something? To make a really big deal. Oh my Lord. And grew it. Oh, look at that. Out of San Diego County's biggest pumpkin ever. It's uh, 1,327 pounds. Pumpkin John grows giant pumpkins. But this year, the squirrels destroyed my patch. Instead of saying nuts, this fall he found another producing patch. One of my best friends, Vince George, out in Santee grew this giant pumpkin. Vince George must be the shy type. He didn't show up for our story. But Pumpkin John did. This is Pumpkin John. Pumpkin John, glad, glad to, to meet you. you. John's friend Stacy did the artwork, and he's doing the driving. Oh, all over the place. I mean, I go into an Albertsons. I come out, I've got 30 people surrounding the pumpkin. Oh my God, that's the most giantest pumpkin I've ever seen. I could make thousands and thousands of pumpkin pies with that being a baker. It'd be fun. Charlie Brown would be impressed. <laughs> if this story seems a little silly to you, wait until you hear this big pumpkin went to a big event in Irvine and made some big money. $5,000. In fact, that's how Big Bertha, as she's called, ended up in John's truck. His buddy Vince needed a ride to the way off and a hoist. Wow, just to load it. Just to load it, because it had to fit perfectly. Cool. And to think, the mother of all melons could have fit in the palm of your hand just a few months ago, but grew so big, she squashed the competition and won a first place prize that led to this pumpkin parade that'll end sometime in the next two months. Oh, it's when my wife, Chris, walks outside and she goes, John, the pumpkin's over. In the Zevely zone? Because it smells bad. <laughs> Jeff Zevely, News 8.